Hi Z, I am Wesley Cooper, and me and my boyfriend, President Donald Trump, or Donnie as I call him, have an anniversary coming up. So I decided to write him an open love letter and share it with all you people. Because I know how much he loves you all. So here is my love letter to my boyfriend, President Donnie Trump. Donnie, I love you. You are my everything. I love your beautiful hair. It reminds me of springtime when the flowers bloom and the birds make their nests. I love your orange skin, Donnie. It reminds me of autumn when the leaves fall and when we first got together. I love your pudgy body that I hold so gently or when we make love physically and I grab a hold of those love handles and make indents in them and jerk so tightly. Guess I'm surprising people now at your bottom. But you are. I love your dream of the wall. Though Congress has turned you down so many times, you still have that dream of that big, beautiful wall that'll keep the immigrants out. Someday it'll come true. And that dream wakes you up every morning and gets you through that day with that horrid woman, Melania, that evil, evil woman that just sucks the life out of you. But don't worry, Donnie. It'll come true. And it gets you through to when we meet every day. And we hold each other gently. And you tell me of that dream. That wonderful dream of yours. Where all the immigrants go back to the country we came from. And it's just the natives here. But I don't just love that dream, Donnie. I love you from the top of your head. To the bottom of your missing pinky toes. That the mafia cut off. But I also love your mind, Donnie. The mind that makes you the greatest leader in this nation's history. I love you so much, Donnie. I love you so much. Now, if you like this video, go to my Patreon. It's in the description. And see the extended cut, which is even greater. I go into more detail of why I love Donnie. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment and tell us why you love Donnie, who is, of course, the greatest leader in this nation's history. So, bye, Z's.